Tropic Eden substrate for the saltwater tank. Uh, this one is their uh, 20 pound live Tonga Mini Flakes, as you can see there. And the other two that are in the box are the non live version, and they are 30 pounds each. So we'll get both of these open and into the saltwater tank, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and one bag is already in the tank. As I mentioned, the one on the right is their live version, uh, which is only 20 pounds. And this one is their 30 pound bag. Both for the same type. One just includes some live bacteria. Um, and then in this bag, one is in. And let's take a look so far. So I put one bag on the right, 30 pounds. I'm going to put the other 30 pound bag on the left. And then remaining 20 pounds is going to go where I feel there's a need for it. And I am on day 80 or so, I guess, of the so-called cycle. Um, there was a delay in my bulk reef supply order before Christmas. So um, nothing I could do about that other than... Um, they're going to, you know, make good on it when I resubmit the order, um, and we'll just take it from there. All right, so we're going to put in another 30 pounds on the left-hand side, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're down to the last bag. The live bag was only 20 pounds, so you do get a little bit less because they, I think they spray it with bacteria. Um, and these bags are actually air, like they're um, air sealed, uh, which is uh, unexpected and just kind of speaks to the amount of detail that they put into the product. Um, which I like, um, even the fresh water substrate um, it's not um, air sealed like this so uh, here's a quick look at the bag uh, as far as directions they say it's pretty straightforward just do light rinsing before you put it in and the product pretty much speaks for itself here's a look on the back side uh, not much to look at there but just in case and a quick look at the tank after placing two bags in. Uh, the water's not that cloudy. Uh, the pumps are off, obviously. And um, we're going to spread this bag throughout and let it sit for a couple hours and then crank back on the pumps. Um, as far as my next order, it was um, it was supposed to be kind of the second to last order. Um, it was the another pump, um, potentially a skimmer. I've narrowed it down to two different ones that potentially I'll go with. Um, there was a wave maker, a controller, and then all the like carbon and phosphate and things like that. So, I'm not sure what happened with the order. Um, they said it just got lost in their shipping system and it never went out. Um, so, it was about, you know, it was a couple thousand dollars. So I'm not sure how it got lost, but anyway, good customer service over at Bulk Resupply bulk reef supply and I look forward to eventually getting that order in.
I'll have to blow off the rocks. That's not a problem. And so total pounds, so we're looking at 80 pounds of substrate that's going in, sand. And be right back.